what's up guys welcome back to another video and for today's video i'm going to show you how to mod gta 5 in 2023 it's actually pretty simple not overly complicated so yeah if you follow step by step you'll be modded and ready to go in no time so first things first you want to make sure you have the game downloaded obviously because you can't you can't mod a game that is non-existent on your computer right so make sure you got that downloaded and then what you want to do is you want to make a backup so what i did is i created a backups folder on my external drive right here where is it and it's up here and here's the backup version that i have and then what you want to do is actually do that i'm gonna close that actually do that you can also uh you, you can also do the backup uh from through steam i believe so if you go into your library and then you go to uh what is it gta right click it and then you go to properties and let's see install install files all right here we go backup backup uh game files so you can back it up like this as well uh thing is let's see oh okay yeah you can you can uh choose the directory that you want to back it up so yeah go ahead and do it whichever way me i just went and copied it directly from my uh on my ex, uh, external hard drive because that's what gta is installed so uh yeah so you can do that if you want as well so you got two uh, uh, you, you at least got two options to back up your save or not save uh your game the next thing you want to do is you want to go to and look for open IV and it should be in here somewhere. Is this it? Okay, let me see. Just take you to the website. Open IV's uh, website is so weird. It never it uh, it never seems to want to work correctly. So what I do is I will uh, include a I will include a working link. so it's still not working uh i will include a working link to open iv um, okay this is the website uh let's see can we get to the website from here maybe So 
open up the YouTube link. So we can actually wait on my what? There we go. And so if you notice <laughs> if you notice uh website is I need mean, uh you do gotta jump through some hoop. Oh wow, this one is not working either. Are you serious? Boy, okay. So yeah, I will I will get a I'll get a working link and uh once I do once I do then uh I will obviously uh put it in the description so you guys can grab it. Um, the next things, the next thing you're going to download is, uh, two files with, uh, pretty much the same name. One is called Script, Script Hook V. And here is the, uh, here's the official website for this and you want to make sure it is up to date and March 2nd is the last time I got updated which is correct so this version is uh, the correct version and then uh, you can hit download so you're gonna need that I already have it so I'm not gonna uh, download it again and then the next one is script hook V. Uh, let's see. Dot net. Which this one you're going to get off of this website right here, which is a website that you're going to be visiting a lot for your mods. So, um, you're going to want to download this one as well, um, and make sure it is up to date, which, let's see, this one, I do believe is up to date. Yeah, I believe this one is up to date. So, yeah, I include this one in the link in the description as well, so you guys can grab this one. Uh, let's see, and I think script hook V also comes with a. Uh, I believe it comes with a uh, uh, a mod menu as well, so you can use that if you want as well. Um, I'm actually not going to use it because I have uh, a couple of mod menus that I like to use. So uh, once you have everything installed and ready to go, I'm going to minimize this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to our folder. So we're going to go to our folder and we're going to go to where your, uh, we're going to go to your, to where your, uh, GTA is installed. So here is GTA, and uh, we're not gonna do anything with this just yet. What we're gonna look for is uh, 
I'm gonna look for Open IV. I think I have it installed. Yes, I do. Uh, no, do I have it? Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. I didn't have it installed for a second. Okay, so you'll get a uh, when you after uh, you'll get like a little prompt. Uh, just follow the prompt. It'll ask you like to choose your language and stuff, and if you want a desktop icon and stuff like that, you know your usual run of the mill stuff. Um, and then eventually, after it's done installing, you'll get this page right here and as you can see it supports several different games you got uh episodes of liberty city you got uh grand theft auto 4 you got grand theft auto 5 uh mad Max, uh, uh max pain 3 and red dead redemption 2. Let's see those are all the games that are currently supported. And what we're going to focus on is uh, GTA 5. Now, as you can see here, this one is the only one that has support for 360, PS3, and PS4. I don't <laughs> know how they actually how you go about uh installing this for those versions but the windows version is pretty straightforward so that's what that's the one we're gonna uh focus on obviously but i just wanted to point that out because uh even though these two games are on the ps3 and xbox 360 um those options are not here they only it only works on the windows version same with uh these two on a red 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 red, yeah. red dead redemption 2 kind of makes sense because it's a newer title it wasn't on the 360 or uh ps3 or anything so but anyway we're going to select windows for gta 5 And it's going to search uh, it's gonna search for your uh, uh, your copy of the game. It, it, it does this to make sure it's legit. So by default, it is looking in my C drive which it is actually not installed on there so we have to hit browse and then we gotta navigate to our uh new game location so the library the apps common and there's gta 5 and then all you gotta do is hit select folder right here. You don't click on any of these folders right here. I made that mistake the first time I did this and uh, didn't get anywhere. Actually, I had to look up the reason why it wasn't working. All right, so it's going to check. And when it finds the license for it, um you'll get this little message successful uh successfully gta gta 5.exe version uh one dot zero dot you know and yada 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 uh open open iv can work with this file so once you see that you're gonna hit continue, uh, continue, and 
it's going to do its thing. I think, I think this one is like uh, compiling the files and stuff. And then you'll get this window. Now, you're going to be in this, you're going to be seeing this a lot when you're installing mods and uh, installing pedestrians and stuff like that. You're going to be using this quite a bit. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click up here. Uh, hold on one second. I want to make sure I actually click the right, the right thing real quick. You see, I have a magnifier on my computer, so it makes things a little bit easier. So I'll click on tools, and then you want to go to ASI Manager. Okay, and then you'll get all of these. Uh, ASI Loader is a required uh, install. Uh, Open IV ASI install. Now, this one, uh, This one, you can enable this one if uh, if you want to uh, be safe and you want to make sure you don't mess anything up. So uh, I'm gonna leave this on check because I pretty much know what I'm doing at this point. So I'm gonna hit yes, and then this last one is an optional. Uh, is an optional mod which basically removes the limit uh, for the camera for creative mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it, even though I don't use it that often, but it's nice to have. And then once you have all of that installed, you can hit close. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close this out completely. And we are actually going to give this a bit of a, uh, a refresh. Uh, what is it? Oh, that's right. This one don't, this one don't, uh, don't have a refresh on it. All right. So we're going to exit this one and then go back in. And you should see some new uh you should see some new files in there um you have a mods folder and i think there's a few other files in here that wasn't in here before so you are on your way to um you're on your way to modding GTA 5. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to find an empty spot, right click, go to new, and create a folder. Actually, is it over? Make the folder. No, I think that's your shirt. No, it didn't. Okay. So yeah, just find an empty spot. Click uh new. Make a new folder. And then you wanna name this one. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to go and find your script hook, uh, your script hook B folder. And what we're going to do to make things a little bit easier, we're just going to 
open up a new tab. And then we're going to go to desktop. We're going to look for a folder called stuff. That's why I have my stuff. That's why. Really? I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. Um, so we found our stuff. Then we got GTA tools. And mod content. I think, no, it's not in that one. Uh, which one did I stick it in? Uh, it's in Brooklyn. Yeah, here we go. So here is script, script trick B. Now, if you notice, this one uh, has the version of the game on it. So if you notice, uh, this one says 1.0. 1.0.2802.0. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the script hook V website, which if I'd have thought about, if I'd have remembered this one, uh, I would have left that website open. Uh, I want to scroll down so what is two eight four four five five zero so let's go back to here. We're going to find our script trick B again. If it would be so kind as to let me find it. Where did it go? There it is. So, this one that I have is a bit out of date. So we're not going to use this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and delete this one. Because it is officially trash. Now, this one, the .NET one, should be an up-to-date one. 3.0.0. Three point zero point one. No, that's for add on add on page. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is an up to date one or not. I don't think script I think I don't think script script hook me dot net is being updated anymore. I could be wrong. So yeah, we're just gonna assume that this one will work. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and use this one. And for now, what we're gonna have to do is gonna to have to download this newest version. So let's see. And we'll put I'm looking for further. Where are you? There you are. Stuff. GTA tools. Open. Although this won't technically be closed now, but still. Alright. 
and that is a very quick download so we are good to go so let's see so we have that downloaded just need to find it here we go and here's another uh the zip folder uh zip fold, uh version of the old one so so we'll go ahead and delete that because we don't, we don't need that one anymore and so version of the dot net doesn't uh doesn't say the version either okay so I'm going to extract this. And that was actually a pretty instant extraction. So now we're just going to find it again. Here it is. So here's the up to date version. Now, Oh, this one, they, they removed the, uh, I think they removed it. Let's see. Nope, Na Native Trainer is still in here. So, we're going to copy this one and this one. I'm going to go ahead and copy these. And we're going to go back to our GTA folder. And we're going to paste it here. One one file will be uh, replaced. So go ahead and do that. And there you go. We are on to the next step of modding. And as you can see, the file has been added successfully. What's the other one that I got? Oh, there it is. Okay. So that's a bit weird. They put this one way up here and this one way down here. So, yeah. Okay, quick little update. Uh, so, I'm going to uh, put the uh, GitHub for script hook B so you can get the latest version because the one that's on the uh, GTA 5 mod website, uh, that one is a bit out of date. So um, just make sure you get this version and not the one on the GTA 5 mod website like i said i will include this one in the uh description as well so uh i think i have this one what was this one what's this one added i could say on here somewhere okay so i got the yeah i got the got the latest one then So, yeah, um, again, like I said, make sure you get this version. Okay, so the next part that we're going to do is uh, native, uh, not native UI, um, script to v.net. So I'm going to go back to this and you can either choose to delete, uh, delete this script hook to be, or you can keep it. I recommend you keep it because it, uh, it, this does not get updated too often. So, uh, in case something happens and you have to do the whole process again, just keep it on your de on your desktop somewhere where you can find it. And then, uh, you can just 
smoothly go through the process again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and what we're gonna do is we're going to copy everything that's in here except for the two text files, the README and the license. This one will not be in the folder. This one, uh, I don't remember how the heck that got in there. But yeah, um, just copy all of these files. Actually, excuse me. So because I'm uh, on another drive, the good thing about Windows is uh, it will it won't literally just move the files it'll copy the files if you're going to another drive so what we're going to do is we're going to just drag and drop and then you'll have all of the files in here which again for some reason stuck them all at the bottom but that's okay uh let's see And let me see, I think I have native UI on here. You are going to need that as well. So let's see. Uh, native UI, is that even in here is the question. Lemon UI is right there. Let's see. I don't see native UI. Let's see. Uh, This one? Wait, 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 wait. Let me make sure I didn't accidentally. Okay, yeah. So we're good on that. Let's go with this one. Let's go with this one. Tools. Nope. All right. I have to download native UI. Unfortunately, that's why I downloaded that one before. Hmm. All right, I'll be right back when I find the native UI uh, link. guys so i found native ui uh this is another github link and this one was posted wow this one's actually pretty old so let's see we're going to go ahead and download this one. And we're going to put that where it belongs. Oh, it's like I already have it on there. Or, wait, hold on. Go ahead, no. Uh, let's see. Let me, let's see if that is actually what that is, because I might not need to download it. No, 
know this. Uh... Yeah, okay. So I already had native UI. All right. So, yeah, all we're going to do is just extract it. Well, what we're going to do, let me uh, go back to this. We can close this out. And we can cancel this out because we don't need it. Okay. And minimize. Okay. So, I'm going to rename this just because it will make life a little bit easier. Okay, there we go. That'll make it easier to find in the future. All right, so we're going to right click, extract all. Okay. And now, there we go. We should have native UI. And what we're going to do is we're going to do like we did last time. But Instead of putting them all directly on the uh, on the root of the uh, GTA uh, file, uh, we're going to find our script folder. There you go. And I'm going to put this in there. There we go. And that will be that mod done. Okay, guys. So the last mod that we're, uh, that we're going to install, at least for at least for this video. I'm not sure if I'm going to do another one after this or not, but yeah. My last one that we're going to do is the uh, menu mod. Or, uh, this is going to be a mod menu, which is highly recommended by a lot of people. So. Once you're on this screen, or once you're on this page, just hit the green download button. Oh, wait. And before you do that, almost forgot. This is actually pretty important. So once you do that, uh, like, once you get to this page, make sure you, uh, read the description of this so you'll know uh how to activate it because uh i made that mistake and yeah i couldn't figure out how to get it to work so yeah <laughs> so this one you open it with f8 and then it tells you how to navigate the uh, menu and stuff, both with the keyboard and the uh, uh, and the controller. Mm. Oh, excuse me. So yeah, we'll click on this. It'll take you to a GitHub. Uh, page which I would just link this one in the description uh, and then uh, this one has 
this one is basically on, on the file structure page. So what you want to do is you want to go over here on the right side and click on releases. And as of right now, the latest one is 1.8.0. And I think, I think the get, uh, I think the one on the mod thing is like really old. Yeah, it's 1.0.1. .1. So yeah, don't don't uh. Don't download this one. Um, luckily, they made it where the, the download button takes you to the GitHub page, so you won't accidentally grab that one. Uh, but yeah, once you're on this page, click on releases. And then, obviously, you want to hit the one that says uh, latest, or if you want to, you can go to uh, pre-release and get that one if you want. But we're just gonna go to the one point one point eight point one and grab that one. Um Papers by okay. I'm just looking at the uh. I'm just looking at the uh what they did to the uh uh to this version which mainly only focuses on the cutscene player, which is fine. All right, so. Grab this one. Which I'd be surprised if I already have this one installed because I didn't see it. Oh my gosh, I already have it installed. Okay. Man, I'm I'm overlooking a lot of mods right now. All right, so uh, let's go back and let's see. So apparently, already have. Menu. So where exactly is it? Right, right here. Okay. So we're gonna track this. Hey, okay, there we go. So. Where did I put it? There it is. All right. So that's our menu mod. What version is this? Does it say what version it is? I don't think so. So it might be an old version. Let's 
let's see. License. Say what version this one is. Mm. I like it. I like it when uh when developers put what version something is. Might I might actually go ahead and uh get the updated version if I'm being honest. Especially if this one is uh out of date. Because this one doesn't really say the version. But apparently I got it back in twenty twenty two at the end of December. So, let me see, um, and this one was updated right first, doesn't say the year, yeah, that's a lot of help. <laughs> okay, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make a new folder called Mod Menu. And I'm going to place it in there. Okay. Minimize. And I'm going to backtrack on this one. Right, here we go. So I'm going to extract this one. And so I do apologize for this video being longer than, than what it really should. Okay, so um, next thing we're going to do is we got to take this menu ASI and uh, menu stuff. We're going to highlight both of those and we're going to drag and drop these right here into the root of the folder. And you should be good to go. So what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, minimize. I'm going to turn off my magnifier. And we're going to minimize this. Because we don't need it anymore. And we're going to open up GTA 5. Also, if you've... Uh, if you've modded GTA 5 before and uh, you, re you reinstall it recently for whatever reason um, and the game boots but crashes when it starts to load the game. Yeah, um, got bad news for you. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go in and delete your save data and then open up the game again now this is why i cannot stress enough this is why you want to uh back up your save data before playing around with mods so uh 
I didn't do it this time because all we're doing, all we're really doing is messing around with the mod menu, so we're not doing anything too major. But um, when you start getting really crazy with mods, please, just please make sure you uh, back up your save data so you can just replace it and not have to start over from scratch. Me, all I did is I used a 100% save because I've played the game enough on console, so I'm not trying to do it all over again. Although the game is kind of fun, but you know, that's, that's just my opinion. Also, Rockstar, if you're watching, if you see this move, this video at any point, it's time to move on. You've milked GTA 5 long enough. Okay. Okay, so here we are in the game, as you can see. Um, so we gotta press F8. Which this new keyboard I got, I like because it actually separates the uh, function keys. It puts them in groups of four, which is the way I like it. So, you're supposed to press F8. And there you go. Mod menu actually works as intended, which is actually pretty awesome. I like that. All right, and you have officially started modding your GTA 5 game. So, real quick, before we do anything, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, exit out of this. So we're going to exit out of this. Okay. Now, I'm going to show, I'm going to tell, uh, I'm going to tell you guys where you can find your save data for those of you who don't know, because, um, it's not like the game tells you where your save data is. So, um, or maybe it does, and I just don't know about it, but for those of you who don't know, you want to go to your file, your file, and we're going to open up a new, uh, tab, so I, uh, so I can show you guys, we're going to go to instruments. Do you want to scroll all the way down until you see Rockstar, Rockstar Games, which is right here. So you click on that and you'll see GTA 5 and any other, I think all Rockstar Games will show up here. So click on that, click on GTA 5. Then you want to click on Profile. The, this is the 100% uh, save that I have. Um, which I will also link in the description if you guys want to use it. We want to go into this folder right here. These, fo these two folders right here will not be here, obviously. So, click on this folder, which is not with the number. And then... You have uh, two sets of uh, numbers, and this one, this one of these is you want us a quick save, I think. Which one is the original? Okay, so this one's the original. 
So what we're gonna do? The quick save. The quick save. Uh, you can back that up too if you want to. But um, we're gonna back up the original save. In fact, we're gonna. We're just gonna do. We're just gonna do all of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click. Here you go. We're gonna make a new folder. And we're gonna call this one backups. Oh my gosh, I can't type. All right, so I did it like that so I know what that backups folder is for. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click after we highlight all of them. We're gonna hit copy. And then we're gonna stick it in the backups folder that we just created. And now you have now you have your backups. And that way, uh, if something goes wrong with your save, you can just uh, you can just re uh, delete the the one that's messed up and replace it with the ones that you have in your backup. So. That being said, uh, anytime you anytime you back up, uh, any, anytime you do anything in in the game, uh, make sure you back it up. Like I would say, I wouldn't do it too too often. You don't have to do it that often, but just do it enough to where you won't like shit your pants uh, if your save gets messed up you have to do a shit ton of stuff again so that's all uh that's all i'm gonna say on on the matter for that one uh so one more one more mod that we're gonna install is a really fun one um and one that can actually get you into a lot of trouble not literally a lot of trouble, but uh, as far as space is concerned, uh, when it comes to uh, pedestrians, uh, because I have I actually have a file I have, I have a folder that's just full of uh, uh, pedestrian mods, and that folder alone is like. I think it's like four gigabytes. I want to say, might be smaller than that, but that's just that's just my guess because I ain't went in that in that file in a while. So, uh, this one's kind of fun. Add-on guards. They they uh, it's basically uh makes the bodyguard without uh. It had, it's its own little menu that that uh, lets you spawn in bodyguards, and that's a that's about it. Like they they'll defend you and whatnot. Um, the one thing I'm not sure about is if uh, if you were to change characters, if uh, or not change characters, but change your skin, if they would still be your bodyguards or not, because. Again, I haven't used it in a while. I had native UI in here this whole time. What the actual heck? Okay, never mind. I am not going to. I'm not going to go there. Okay, so. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, I remember. I remember now. Okay, so this mod I might do on a different uh do on a different video, but um, what is that? Is it this one? Yeah, here it is. 
Uh, this particular mod uh, has its own piece of software that lets you uh, that lets you add pedestrians to the game. So basically, just a short just a short explanation of it. Uh, you would open up you would open up the program which you gotta you gotta open it up in uh, in administrative mode uh and you have that ready and you will open up open uh open iv uh add add the pedestrians in there and then um you would go back onto this program type in the name of the pedestrian uh, uh, as it appears on the file and then uh it, it, i think there's like a rebuild button or something like that and it'll register the uh it'll register the uh the pedestrian so you can actually open it uh you can actually see it in the menu because this actually has its own little menu too so uh i will do that one in a separate video because i forgot i forgot how involved this one can be so uh for now i think we're gonna stop it there um it's been a lot of fun doing this with you guys um and oh yeah i did close the game um as far as the mod menu goes uh it has a lot of features okay i'm I'm gonna just say that right now it has a lot of features don't be afraid to play around with it because trust me i, I missed out on it a lot uh for like the longest time because I, I was too afraid to really mess with anything on there. But once you do, oh my gosh, you're going to have so much fun. So um, if you need help with installing the mods and everything like that, let me know and I will help you to the best of my abilities. Um, you can also join my discord which is currently closed right now i think yep, it was closed okay no don't switch so yeah um this is this is my discord right here um you can come in here you uh i i'll actually make i'll actually make a channel for gta 5 stuff you guys can post like uh, any issues that you have in there and you know stuff like that so yeah um yeah thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified when i post more content and GTA related content in the future. All right, have a good one. And I'll see you next time.